Hello, my name is Roland Reyer. I'm a technical specialist at Autodesk Media Entertainment in Europe. There was a question on the forums of the Autodesk Knowledge Network on how to combine the placer node in Mesh that allows me to draw objects on a surface and dynamics so that I can draw objects in or spit objects, emit objects into my scene and then they settle down or they are used in dynamics to settle down somewhere, collide with each other and so on. So I've made a scene with some objects here, example objects, and I'm going to go into the mesh editor, create a mesh network. And I'm not going to use the distribute node, so I turn it down to zero. I want to use the placer node and draw with these objects. And of course, I need a surface or an underground to draw on. So I'm going to create a polygon plane and just increase the size and then I drop this plane into the placer node. So here in the placer node you have a, a space where you can register collision objects like this polygon plane which allows me then to take the plane and to hide it because so I don't need to see it all the time. So in the mesh editor in the placer node I'm now gonna go and change the IDs to random. So the first four IDs and maybe turn on scattering and yeah, let's have a look how the brush works here. So here are my objects. So now we want to make them dynamics also. So I'll undo the whole thing and I'll add a dynamics node. And now when I use the placer node, they should, or these objects should be run in dynamics. The trouble here is that I need to have my scene playing in order for dynamics to work. So I can go into the FX shelf here and here we have the interactive playback. The interactive playback is a sort of a playback that still allows me to manipulate the scene to move objects around and by that to interactively play with my dynamics. So I'll turn up the playback range and then hit the interactive playback, use the drawing tool and then when I draw you see the objects would immediately fall down and collide with the underground of the bullet solver that's built into the dynamics here. That is the first way of playing with it. Be aware that when you rewind, your object's gonna jump back to where they were sketched initially. And then when I hit play again, the, the whole dynamics process starts again. So if you want to leave the objects where they are on the ground here, you need to go into the dynamics and set an initial state that's down here. So by default, there is no initial state with a plus sign, you can create one. And with a little arrow here, you can update it. So if you have, if you are still running simulation, you can then update the initial state to make the objects there where they are. So now I have rewound the scene and you know, when I hit play, the objects are not moving anymore. Just be aware if you want to bake these objects, you have to do that. So the second method is, or the second part of the question was, can I also, you know, replace my gravity to something like a little planet and I want to drop stones onto that planet. Let's have a look at that. So I've reloaded that bunch of objects here. I'm going to select them all, create my mesh network, remove the objects from the distribute node and create the placer node and actually set all these things like the random IDs and maybe turn on scattering and so so I could now when I as soon as I have an object in my scene I can start drawing here but we want to create a small planet that I draw on so let's create a, a polygon sphere and you know so scale it up a little bit and we want to you know the objects to collide with that sphere and in order to do that if there was a gravity field inside in order to do that I need to draw something above the surface so what I do here is hold my shift key and clone the sphere and make a larger sphere that I will use as a drawing surface and then the, the smaller sphere the planet is going to be the collision surface for the bullet solver so what I do here is in the placer node, I'm going to drop the larger sphere as a, as a drawing surface and then I can hide the larger sphere. And then as soon as I have my dynamics object or my dynamics node in here and I'm going to bump up friction and damping already a little bit and I will do the same in the bullet solver friction and damping and I will erase the 
gravity that comes from the solver, we want another gravity. You can you you can do that by dropping a field into this section down here in the bullet solver. So we can actually go into our fields menu in the dynamics and create not a gravity because gravity is only a directional field. It points in one direction, up, down, left, right. We need a radial field, which is a point that repels or attracts points or attracts particles. And to use that, I'm just going to drop it into my field section here in the, in the bullet solver and I'll set the magnitude to minus 10 or something so that it is it attracts other points. OK, so we have this one here. And now I'm actually with the dynamics, I'm actually ready to draw on the surface. I need to make the timeline larger. Maybe turn on the shading here. Need to make the timeline larger and then hit the interactive playback. Start the tool maybe before hit the interactive playback and then draw on my surface. And you see the all these points are, you know, going through the sphere because I forgot to, to turn on the sphere, the second or the smaller sphere as a collision object in the bullet solver. So I need to drop it into this section here. So sphere number one is into this, this section. Now you see the objects are colliding with that little planet. Let me go back to my mesh editor into the placer and remove these objects. So I can use the erase brush to remove them. And then again, hit play and just draw. And you see, as soon as I release my mouse, these objects are going to collide with that little planet that I've created here. So that would be the second method by, you know, completely removing the gravity that the bullet solver creates by default and replacing it with a radial field. And of course, you can use other fields if you like.